Hey everybody, it's Lisa, and today I am back with the second episode of Code Realize. And we just ended the first episode where the Leonhard guy, little beeper thing went off, and he's gonna go through this door to see if there's a monster. So, let's go ahead and keep going with that. So it says, he prepares himself to face the monster that awaits him on the other side, then gives the signal to break down the door. The soldiers smash through and rush inside. A skylight lets some light in, but the moon has ducked behind another cloud. However, he can sense tension in the room. Whoa. I don't know if you guys can see it, but... There's like a bunch of dolls and everything in this one room. A strange atmosphere feel, feels the air, <laughs> fills the air. The room is packed with dolls. In the dim light, the sheer number of them is unsettling rather than cute. Yeah, nothing about dolls is cute in my opinion. Just saying. The shadow of a person can be seen sitting in a chair in the center of the room. The shadow of a person. Oh my god, that's so creepy. <laughs> The shadow doesn't move, even when the soldiers surrounded it. Guns drawn surround it. This person is very brave, or, as the message suggested... Is it dead? One of the soldiers approaches the chair. The shadow slowly raises its head. I don't see any, um, shadow in that chair right there, but okay. At that moment, the clouds part, letting light into the room. <gasps> she's so pretty! Is that supposed to be the monster? Because she's super pretty. Long, glossy hair, melancholy eyes, slowly opening. Her flawless skin and symmetrical face more than resemble a doll's. Her clothing is strange, seeming more like a decoration than fashion. Everything about her seems oddly mystical. The girl blinks once, slowly. Her blank eyes take in her surroundings. At this simple action, Leonhard hears himself and the others gasp involuntarily. This beautiful girl, lit from above by the soft moonlight like an ethereal creature. She must be... A monster? I hear voices. The voices of many people. None of them are my father. Why do they wake me? I wanted to stay in my slumber forever. I wanted to stay with my dreams forever. This is the monster? Monster? Yes, I am a monster. Oh, that's so sad. Captain, is this the girl that we were sent here to capture? Yes, it's hard to believe, but this seems to be the case. I was expecting something more monstrous, but she's just a girl. Idiot, don't let your guard down. Hey, what are you doing? Calm down, calm down. I know that sound. A dog's growl. I've heard it before. Dogs were chasing me. They were growling and barking trying to bite me, trying to eat me, to kill me. They were so much faster than me. The dogs. A large dog barks loudly and leaps on me. Oh my gosh, I'm the pretty girl. Ah. <laughs> Her original name was going to be Cardia, but I changed it to mine. So obviously I'm going to be the main girl of the story. So that's really exciting. Stop. I protest weakly in a scratchy voice, but the dog has me pinned in my chair. Its teeth tear through my clothing and pierce the skin of my shoulder. Whoa. I can feel my blood flow from the wound. In the next moment, the dog yelps and jumps back. Hey, what's wrong? As he speaks, something happens. The dog's mouth begins to melt. <laughs> Whoa! Like mud, it begins to drip and fall away. 
The dog's head and neck begin to crumble, and the oozing mass of flesh fizzles. The dog drops to the ground. I think I just killed a dog. It rides in agony for a short, short time, then stops moving. Yeah, I definitely just killed a dog. What? What in God's name? Why? Because it touched my skin. Because of a tiny drop of my blood. Just looking at the mishappened corpse makes me feel awful. It died because of me. The men round around me tear their gaze free from the mess and back away, still surrounding me. Watch out! It really is a monster! Don't move! Move and I'll shoot! Fear and confusion. Doubt and anxiety. It's just as before. It's very scary, but somewhat familiar. Surround her, but keep your distance. She can kill you with a touch. Compose yourselves, men. Never point your weapon at a lady. One of the soldiers cries out. But Captain, we have to do something to protect ourselves. You have to realize that. Of course I understand. I saw what happened here with my own eyes. I doubt I'll forget it any time soon. But calm down. Look, she doesn't look like she's, she'll try to resist. I remain seated in my chair, but I look up to meet the speaker's eyes. Even with this incident with the hound, she tried to stop it, but it was over too quickly. She didn't intend for it to happen. Yes, but... The leader approaches me and gently kneels down, putting his face at my level. Get out of my face! Wow, he's close. <laughs> Little Miss Monster, I would first like to apologize for the rudeness during our sudden visit. Would you please come with us? I kind of want to click... Oh, okay, if you click the bottom button, like it said, it says monster, creature exhibiting powers beyond the ordinary humans. In this game, this term is used against the um, protagonist who has deadly poison cursing through their veins. So it gives you like a definition, basically, of the red word. So that's pretty cool. His gentle but firm tone leaves no room for argument. After a brief pause, I nod. I stand without another word and leave my room behind. I have no reason to resist. How many years have I been staying here? The people are so tense. I see fear in their eyes. They see me as something foreign. I wonder if these people will kill me. If that is why they have come here, so be it. I had reservations, but I'm not scared. That poor dog. It shouldn't have been that way. The dog should have killed me. Horseless carriages cut their way through the quiet of the night to meet us. They tie my hands and load me into one. I stare up through the window at the sky. I have no interest in where they're taking me or what will happen to me there. If I'm going to be killed, I feel oddly relieved to think this. But... But I have only one regret. Just one. I wish that I had... Shoot. Okay, that's... I feel like that's a good ending for the second episode. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. This is a really fun game and I'm really into the story. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!